conduit to the powers that be to answer your questions about your future self, past lives, current career, love. She shines light into the darkness to illuminate what was, what may be, and beyond. The readings and advice given by Barbara Jean Lindsay are for entertainment purposes only. Do not take financial advice given to you by a qualified professional and are not a substitute for medical, legal, or financial advice. If you need a doctor, call a doctor. If you need to be expanded, call the Cosmic Board. Hello and welcome to the Cosmic Oracle Show and this is your host Barbara Jean Lindsay. It is Friday, April 24th, 2020 and I will be coming to you live for the next two hours from Sierra Madre, California. That is LA County, Los Angeles County. It was like 92 degrees here today. So, um, oh my God, my little dog, she's like, what is the heck is going on here? Mary Margaret, she's like, well, get me out of here. So, um, but I kind of like the heat. I lived in um, Palm Springs for like 13 years. So I'm used to it. I, I kind of, it kind of feels good. I, I'm, I'm kind of liking it. So welcome to the show today. And thank you for uh, generously giving to um, Revolution Radio. We are an all volunteer station and every dime that you give uh, goes directly to the station and keeping the lights on and keeping the producers going and uh, all the electronics happening and all the high tech stuff going on. And so the way you can continue to give generously, a uh, dollar, five dollars, whatever you can, uh, go ahead and just go to freedomslips.com. That's freedomslips.com. And uh, there's a donate button there. Hit that donate button and give whatever you can. And we'll thank you in advance. Um, so I was supposed to have Thiago Ticetti, Thiago Luis Ticetti, on the show today. But being the amazing person that he is, uh, at the last minute he was asked to go to uh, his local hospital as a volunteer. And he's a volunteer there and to help with the uh, COVID-19. So, I mean, he's like a Superman, right? So, hey, if, uh, I told him, no problem. If they need him there, we understand that, right? So uh, he has said that he would come back on June 5th. So uh, June 5th, uh, mark your calendars. Uh, he will be back then uh, for our interview. I was really looking uh, forward to having him on. He has some amazing stories and that he will share with you, but he will be back on June 5th. So that's what's going on. So today, this just happened. So uh, we're just kind of rolling with it in today's show. Hello, Eric Mitchell. You know what I, what I mean, <laughs> Eric Mitchell and Emily Blake Cassell, 90 in Sacramento today too. Wow, I know, I know, Eric. I was really looking forward to hanging out with them. But so what we're going to do is kind of go back to some of the old things. Uh, unless you guys want to give me a call and come on the show, you're welcome to do that. Uh, it's 818-688-1398. Uh, if you guys aren't doing anything, you want to come onto the show and, and tell some uh, UFO uh, ET stories. Eric, if you're in the mood, <laughs> you know my number, give me a call and we'll bring you on the show. That would be pretty cool as well. And so in the meantime, I pulled a card. That's what we used to do in the old days here at uh, the Cosmic Oracle Show. Um, I pulled the death card for us. How's that? Yeah, it's the death card. It's a beautiful card. You can see the tour in the background in England. And she's holding that beautiful skull in her hand. I did do the meditation with the a crystal skull uh, on, when was that, last night? Or night before last? No, last night. Last night. So uh, the new moon. Um, so, let's, so let's talk about death, shall we? That sounds like an interesting subject that came up for today. I was writing a book about it, actually, about all my experiences with death. I'm trying to find my book here somewhere. Where did I put it? Um, where we can say what the card says about it. 
And let me find it here. Just a second, everybody. Here it is. Uh, uh, here it is. So, yeah. Uh, I know Penny Bradley. I know I was so sorry. Yeah. But he'll be back on June. Happy to give you online right now. You can just put your question uh, in, in the chat. Um, um, I can Skype you, Eric, if you want, and bring you on the show if you would like to. That would be just really killer. So, uh, yeah, I'll do that now. Let's see if we can bring Eric Mitchell onto the show. Let's see if I can remember how to do that. Let's see. Here we go. We'll add. I'll call Eric now. Here we go. Add to call. We're going to try and see if we can get him. There you are. Hey, my favorites. <laughs> All right, so let's add you, Eric. I hope this is you. So I'm going to give you a call right now. We're going to add you to the call. Okay, we're calling you right now. We'll see if this is you. <laughs> and is that you, Eric? Two of the three in the call. Okay. Calling Eric Mitchell on Skype. Okay. Or we could try you on the phone, too. Okay. Well, that's not working so well. Oh, you're here, Eric. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> that is How are you? awesome. Oh, my God. I, I'm... I'm I'm doing good. I'm rolling with it today. It's been a while. You know, I used to just do readings on the show a long time ago and a whole bunch of other things. And lately I've just been in this power down with amazing interviews and which one of them was with you. So, so what do you Oh, think? yeah. Well, my gosh, you've done so many. Last week was, wow, it was amazing. <laughs> um, you know, the uh, Mitchell Hedges skull. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my yes. God. So what have you been doing? You've been like still working. Uh, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm learning things that I, I, I don't want to learn. You know, uh, there, to me, there's importance and then there's, you know, importance and yeah, but like, um, you know, writing a book, mm -hmm. um, you know, about your life and then you, you learn so many little things like, oh, my God, I forgot about this and that. And then, you know, you're doing documentary, which is everything is normal and you can be normal until someone turns a camera on. And then you're like, <laughs> well, I forgot what normal was. You know, I can't, no, you know, I can't. Uh, it's it's really weird. It's really yeah. weird because you can't you can't. Yeah, you can't smoke normally because you know somebody's <laughs> looking at you. You can't drink a cup of coffee normally. You can't do anything normal. They're like, just be you. And I'm like, I can't turn it off. Just please turn it off. Yeah, maybe you know, it's so, like a uh, maybe it's like a past life, like you got killed for speaking your truth or something, you know? Could be. Maybe so, maybe so. I mean, you know, in my inception of this whole thing, uh, was really so much of, oh uh, gosh, first of all, I didn't believe in any of that stuff. I thought, you know, I was one of those groomed people to believe that, uh, paranormal and all this stuff was absolutely crazy, you know? So, uh, I had a, a, a hard inception, you know, to fall mm -hmm. into everything. And then I had another inception of ufology and narcissism and special me and, and self-importance <laughs> and um, money and greed and all those things. And I was like, whoa, that's that's really not what's in the movies, because what happens in the movies is blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so so, you know, I, I ended up shaving and, and looking in the mirror and saying, Eric Mitchell, you are not going to be this narcissistic type whatever these people are, mm -hmm. you know, um, and I, I really love to insult them. I mean, hate to insult them right now, but, um, it's not, it's not cool. It doesn't do good for anybody. And, uh, 
so yeah, there's a lot of past. There's a lot of learning and all this stuff. And you know, when um, people see an experiencer on the screen, they're like, "Oh, it just it just happened today." It, no, an experiencer is like the most quiet person on the planet. They're empathic. They're already in quarantine, uh, despite any infection that's out there, and uh, they're alone. And it takes a while. Uh, type of character to uh, uh, get over the fact that people are going to make kinds of made up stories just to debunk you and hurt you and, and do all these things to you. And if you're a responsible, logical, um, um, you know, every time that you're attacked or every time that someone says even something wrong about you, you tend to sit there and question yourself, and that's what a sane right. person does. Mm -hmm. um, insane people don't question themselves at all. You know, they just do. But sane people tend to question themselves a lot. Oh, did I step on your toe? I apologize. Mm -hmm. Did I upset you? I apologize. Um, so that's a big hang-up. There's so many hang-ups um, to that. So if we can fast forward to people that are really getting out there, um, it's mostly the narcissist, the people that cut the red tape and goes, I don't care. I'm going to make money and everything's going to be fine. <laughs> so it leaves a very, very quiet nation of people. Um, you know, you have that kind of strength, you have that kind of walk, you've done it for years. Mm -hmm. Um, I do too. And I think that kind of thing should be, um, I at least mentioned. Don't you agree? Yeah. I mean, it, it when you have contact, and like I would like for you, for you to tell your story, if you would, since we have you here again, that after you have contact like that, it rocks your world, your sanity, your reality of who you are, why you're here, and then what the f as well, and to then assimilate that oh, yeah. the best you can while still taking care of and being responsible for a quote unquote normal life, right? Okay, that what you just said could be about ten books. <laughs> you know, and you know it could. You I, yeah, know it could. And yeah. we, you and I could both sit down and write the damn thing and, yes. and kill each other in court. And, um, <laughs> Wait, but, well, you if for, as far as me making books, I've never made a whole lot of money on them, and that wasn't the 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 purpose. The purpose is to get the information out, just like doing the show, right? Just like doing what you do with well, your, yeah. the, all the work that you do. Not only, but, and we'll talk, we'll segue into this later about all the work that you do for suicide prevention for people who have uh, these sorts of, of uh, experiences and try and, and work them in the world. Yeah, I think I think we're working on the right stuff here. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Let's proceed. Yeah. Uh, isn't it great that uh, wonderful accidents happen to be <laughs> the most wonderful pieces of information? Um, Homo, he's still around with his magical stick poking us in the back. Well, he gets you going and gets you off your butt, though. That's his job, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, well, I'll tell you, I can't hide. Um, <laughs> no, you can't. I, I actually. I actually was a, a suicide case, mm. and uh, the reason being is I always, I mean, you know, you have parents, you have family, you have um, television, and when you grow up around these things, and they all tell you that people talk about paranormal and UFOs, that they're crazy people. So naturally, when you breastfeed off of this substance of uh, social engineering, you you talk about these kinds of things you go oh you're infectious oh you're nasty oh you're yeah you know there's so many uh, uh parts to that and so i actually lived and partook in, in, in 34 years of that mm -hmm. and uh so when my world view was good and of course i fought it you know i'm i'm um, definitely uh, in a place of, uh, what do they call that? It's not really misconception, but your brain fights itself. Here it is resistance. in your lap, in your face. Resistance. Yeah. Uh, co cognitive dissonance. Yes. 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 My apologies. 
<laughs> being exhausted, but I always have long weeks and uh, they turn into months and years and wow. But yeah, cognitive dissonance, you know, you want to blame yourself. You want to sit there and you want to say that, okay, I am a student of psychology, so I am uh, somehow being fantasy prone, uh, you know, possibly by being a single father, maybe all the stress, maybe I want to escape that in my mind. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and at the same time, you've got pictures and videos and witnesses and, and military showing up. And so you have to fight all that stuff inside yourself. Uh, most people believe contact is an external experience. Yeah. And um, I think, I think, you know, a lot of this should be um, looked at a little bit closer. You know, oh, this person's story is bigger than mine. First and foremost, these aren't stories. You right, know, uh, right. I are... went to the grocery store, quote unquote, <laughs> isn't a story. It's an actuality that happened. Yeah. This story thing is a CIA little plant that gets put in there uh, that we feed down from ufology. But um, we... We drink feed these things. We breastfeed from these things in, in, in sociology and psychology. And uh, unfortunately, it makes us a big mess. Um, gosh, there's so many directions I can go with this, but it is impossible to overcome 34 years of indoctrination. I mean, once you're slapped with it, once you realize, and once you go, oh my God, I cannot look left or right because this thing is in my face you know it's real well, and, you know and and, then, and it can then it becomes and it can just totally consume you to where you are just like um you're in it so much that you it becomes narrow and so you it, there's a point where you have to kind of break out of that as well in order to live live a Stay bigger <laughs> a bigger life yeah. in some ways you yeah. know just healthy right yeah i mean like, once that once that kind of thing slaps you in the face, it, it becomes an obsession. It's like, mm -hmm. wait a minute, what else have I, I've been talking about? Right. Um, Down that rabbit the hole. Nature. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, it, it, it doesn't matter who. I mean, I worked with a guy that uh, he was one of my clients. He was a uh, PhD uh, candidate for uh, Berkeley, you mm -hmm. know, and um, he went. Well, not absolutely nuts, but he was so obsessed that he ignored his family, his job and everything like that. And, um, you know, we worked uh, side by side for a while. He actually started the free organization, CCRI, huh. uh, worked with Edgar Mitchell, the sixth man on the moon. Wow. Um, you know, so that's just one example of how you can get totally obsessed, you know, yeah. and um, yeah, you do. You, you have really to, do. I think because, you, I think you have to at the beginning because you want to learn everything there is to know about it <laughs> in order yeah, to, yeah. to, 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 to um, be able to walk with it in your body, on the planet, in the... Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, this is, you know, uh, Barbara, let's on radio, let's just talk. I mean, yeah. um, it, it, it is the beginning of the inception of what I like to call the duality. Mm -hmm. um, you have to like football and honey boo boo and um, <laughs> all these things that absolutely don't matter. And then, uh, you have to internalize all the things that you want to express about your your uh, new views and ideas and everything, but it doesn't fit into a controlled society that doesn't care about you anyway. Right. So essentially, exactly. you're more human than an actual human is. You're yes. less incepted. You're less yes. controlled. And, um, you have these things called original thoughts and ideas. <laughs> and oh my gosh, the empathy, the, the psychic ability, and all these things that come through... It's like a, you know, a teenager coming to being. Mm -hmm. Well, you feel a lot um, more free in a way too. Yes. And you know, the freedom is amazing. Yeah. But at the same time, the same coin, you're completely stricken from the entire record. Right. You're isolated. You, know, you don't, <laughs> you don't, you, you don't feel natural. You don't feel like you belong, you right. know, but at the same time, if you walk out into the woods and you see these beautiful creatures and these wonderful colors, you tend to appreciate it more than people that uh, want to sniff on the back end of a car. Yeah, it's true. It's, it's with it. It, it takes a while though. See, the thing is you don't, you can't get it all by 
seven o'clock tonight, eight o'clock. You can't, and that's the thing. It's not... <laughs> <laughs> no, ma'am. <laughs> No, but you, ma'am. But you Let's want go with to. the long, treacherous, <laughs> painful, yes. bleeding, crying, PTSD yes. goo that it is. Yes. Um, you know, if anybody tells you any different, I would love to be physically violent with this person. Um, even though I'm not a, <laughs> you know, I'm not a violent person, but Jesus, you know. Um, but yeah, you know, I've I've literally worked with thousands of people, mm-hmm. and you know, I don't charge money or anything mm-hmm. like that. I don't have a website. Um, they find me through disparity, and mm-hmm. uh, that's the only way. I'm I I don't market myself, mm-hmm. and I don't put out pretty pictures or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm just a guy, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, I went through most of my life believing. The status quo, fear disguised as practicality while dancing in its own irrelevance. But, you know, um, over time I've had to learn. And instead of jumping out and say, hey, look at special me, you know, I've got CIA on my butt. I've got ufology all over me. I've got all these people that want to do interviews and this and that. And, you know, I'm just telling them, no, come on, leave me alone. <laughs> do you have any idea what I've been through? Mm-hmm. You know, stop this. Mm-hmm. Leave me alone. Right. And um, that's a real important and, part of, of it is where you do, I find, you do have to have that alone time, that time to just with yeah. no, with no, um, no uh, wisdom coming in, no, no information coming in, no downloads come that uh, like, the, That's enough download for yeah, right now. The, I, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> they over sensory. I mean, mm-hmm. the last time. You know, I don't know if you know, but uh, Travis Walton and I roommated Mm -hmm. uh, up in Maine with uh, Audrey Hewins for, I don't know, I think it was around six to eight months. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the last time I talked to him, you know, he said, you know, Eric, it did. It took me around seven years or so, too. And I'm I'm hitting, you know, the seven year mark and I'm still going from should I be responsible to my society, my humanity um, the people around me that just want to hurt me and, and throw sticks and stones Mm -hmm. and stand my ground. Or should I just run off of the woods and tell everybody to piss off and try to live some kind of life for myself, you know, and that's all uh, go ahead. That that's, I, I feel, yeah, I gotcha. I hear (laughs) you with that. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, it's my insight that, you know, half of me just, wants to say piss off but you know Mm -hmm. i've worked with people in 125 different countries i've learned google translate i've uh um you know got into uh working with harvard i've got into uh you know talking to some other universities about some major breakthroughs when it comes to the physical evidence left over Mm -hmm. uh, after these things happen um i've got into things and yet you're not going to see me boasting and bragging and doing this and that and the other and yes i do plan on in the future uh sharing my information but not in such a way that it's um i don't know seen before (laughs) um but yeah you have to to follow what's right for you and and i do understand the part you're just gonna i'm out of here I, I do that. I'm I'm out. I'm just gonna go get a real job yeah. and do a real life. But I think also I would just get bored in about maybe three days, probably tops. I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you you can you can run, but this stuff owns you. Right. It, no, it owns you. A reality. Well, um, oh, people have a keen ability to hide from reality, um, yeah. hide from themselves, yeah. hide from their own mistakes. Yeah. I yeah. mean, there's all kinds of things, yeah. you know, so it really comes to the top brass. And what I mean by top brass is people that actually have the ability to go, I own my mistakes. Mm-hmm. I own my own thoughts. I own these things and, and other people aren't going to skew and, and, and mess with them. And on top of that, I'm going to fight my own ego to death. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. These are high morality people. They're not people that post on Facebook all the time. I live on love and light and I'm more important than you. It <laughs> is action. You know, <laughs> the first, first thing I notice is when people want to talk about, you know, how wonderful they are, 
they really have something that they should talk to me about. You know, I, I, I contact those people mm -hmm. and I talk about that deep, um, that deep thing left behind that it should be, you know, brought out. And, you know, that's really important. It's really important, you know, especially experiencers, because if you can't get past a certain point, you can't help other people. Right. And that's the purpose. That's the whole thing. Yeah. You know, well, isn't it um, true, though, Eric, that once you have a um, major contact like this, that isn't your life then totally like easy or perfect or do you have like a special get out of jail free card or, you know, <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> no, no, absolutely not. I absolutely know, but not. and people are shocked, right? Highly they yeah, they just think that you yeah. just got it easy. You got it made somehow, and it's if anything, it's the opposite. Don't you think that you even get it tougher in some no, ways? No, it's it's such a responsibility that mm -hmm. you think about opening your mouth for two seconds to talk to somebody and your legs go weak and you can't do anything. <laughs> um, people, they're just not going to understand. I mean, how do you articulate? How do you letters in our alphabet and a hundred billion neurons running? Um, I'm sorry. It's just not going to happen. The hell, though, you know, there is, there is sensitivity to nature. There's a sensitivity to beauty nation. Um, but there's also the responsibility that and you, you can't. The, the, uh, there's the ups and downs. And you can try. And I, for me, it took a long time. Because I, I, I could feel it and know it, think it, be it in energy terms, it's the energy. You know, like when you first learn it, it's yeah. all about learning the Look. energy. <laughs> and then to put yes. that in well, words can, is like, you, oh my God. You, you can kiss this kind of thing, and you can dance this kind of thing. Um, you can music this kind of thing. Um, but to word this thing would be incredibly uh, a sufferable war. Mm -hmm. Well, first you have to get through <laughs> exactly. that emotional part of it, make it real yourself, and that takes time. Yes, it does take time. I mean, uh, who is healed by PTSD overnight? <laughs> who is healed from an exaction of worldview destruction overnight. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and when I work with clients, you know, I have people that call me up or, or, you know, just send me a message saying that, hey, look, these alien guys, they want me to go. And then I have other people message me and say, well, I had this thing that I saw really up close and it scared me and uh, I really needed to talk to someone. So how... You know, obviously, how do you discern who did it first? Mm -hmm. um, you know, and uh, there's so many little things to learn. But um, once you go through a few thousand people and you have gone through this process yourself, it is not stories that we're going through. It's a it's an internal you know, internal emotional process, mm -hmm. uh, mental process, mm -hmm. um, emotional process. Um, that eventually, sorry guys, knock, knock, who's home? Um, all of us are going to have to go through. Yeah. And unfortunately, fortunately it's disclosures happening right now, but it's being skewed in a military type of fashion. And that's the scariest thing I can think of. Yeah. I'm thinking that's unfortunate <laughs> to say the least. I'm being diplomatic. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was talking to this guy, a.k.a. Bob, and um, to this day, I, I do believe it's his first name. We met in uh, Virginia with the Allagash Twins of the 72 Ducks, uh, Travis Walton, um, the Hewins Twins, and a few other people uh, out at Jack Wiener's house. And um, we talked for I showed him my evidence. He was pissed. I mean, he was really upset about it. Um, but, you know, he talked about how they are going to 
move forward uh, to television and doing all these things. Mm-hmm. Um, it would take a long time to describe everything that's going on, um, but I'd love to sometime. Mm-hmm. I mean, it would take a while. Um, but he said all these things about, you know, they want to push for war and we're going to shoot nukes at these green bugs and kill them and all that stuff. And I'm looking at him like he's on roids and I'm going, hey, dude, why does it always have to be about war and, and famine mm-hmm. and, and shooting and, uh, you know, can't it be about decency? I mean, anything that outgrows its own ignorance uh, deserves decency. Mm-hmm. And uh, he looked at me and he pulled his finger out. And I mean, he pulled it out like a gun. Mm-hmm. And he said, boy, in the Pentagon, we are trained. If a mind is shaped like a hammer, everything has to look like a nail. And I just looked at him and I, I just, wow. Oh my God. I, I looked at him in awe. I looked if I saw something, I mean, I just, yeah, you, you nailed it. Wow. Just wow. And I, that's I, exactly I, how they are. Yeah. Well, it won't stop us. <laughs> No, and there is no us, us, and there is no us in them, and there is no black and white. And I'm tired of that game anyway. Aren't you just tired of us against them anyway? <laughs> yeah, I'd rather be me against me. <laughs> that works out. <laughs> or I, just, I have, I have, I have uh, hilarity. I have uh, <laughs> you know stuff. <laughs> but you know, there's also the Constitution that says, "We the people, by the people, for the people." We should not submit what you and I have been through to this war agenda or anything mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. And now's the time. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, most of us are. Well, <laughs> can I you actually can, say this out you, loud? You say whatever um, you want. You're free, except for, you know, the our favorite F word. That's all you can't say. <laughs> uh, we say that in private. To yes, we do. Yes, we do. <laughs> That's, that's our fun game that we do. That's personal. That is. Yeah, that's personal. <laughs> Nobody else gets that. That's personal. No, that's ours. You know, um, <laughs> now, if you want to know, we'll put up a PayPal account and uh, we'll show you. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's too secret. We, we can yes. talk about the Pentagon. We can talk about Area yes. 51. We can talk about a lot of things. Yeah. But that's private. That is, that's special. (laughs) Yes, it is, bleepity bleep. Um, But, (laughs) oh man, but yeah, I mean, the thing is, you know, the the Constitution was put up, we the people, by the people, for the people, Mm -hmm. Um, and and also have this whole military effect, you know, and you see the Eisenhower last speech talking about beware of this military industrial right. complex they right. want war they do war that's all they do that's all they train for mm-hmm. they don't train for love respect care or patient they don't train for any of that stuff that's mm-hmm. not what they do for that job us things that aren't regimented our thoughts our diets our ideas our understandings we don't live in a concentration camp too much now we do have television and frequencies and all those things um yeah we all have our stuff we yeah uh, continent we have more of a right to say this subject than they do and if we don't start talking now if we don't you know earlier i wanted to say that us experiencers are weak um and and that kind of uh, jumbled me up a little bit because we are we are weak. You know, we we don't want to talk because we know we're going to be made fun. Of. We know our family members and our friends and our work colleagues here. You know, put us off to the side. But at the same time, I know experiencers that are innovating the future of the internet. Um, I myself is working with Harvard University on innovating, you know, things that um, are amazing. Uh, I've seen the future of space travel. I've seen the future of, um, you know, just the eradication of um, energy in homes. 
uh, dropping down by 70%. You know, this and a thousand things, because I, I can't talk all night about it, mm-hmm. um, are derived by experiencers. Yeah, but and now, don't, don't, these, I know well, you, I, I have heart. I, I, I say that weak because we're not connected, but we're working on that. Yes. And, and everyone, and it's all starting to come together. Now's kind of the time. And, but it's just, you can feel it's like um, the giants have awoken, you know, all kind of at the same time. It's starting, but they had yeah, to it's... go through what they went through and have that for themselves. And now that they get it and then we kick butt, right? Well, yeah, exactly. I mean, I've got a Zoom meeting tomorrow night. Um, and um, I think 20 to 50 people are going to be showing up. And, uh, you know, uh, there's so many breakthroughs. There's so many amazing things that, you know, we had one guy that hasn't in 56 years. Oh, my God. About, about him. Well, can you and, and, these are just for the people they come and talk to you first and then they go to your your meditation? Yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure how yeah, they could. Yeah. If there's someone listening yeah. here, my, they they're, can contact you on Facebook. And okay. At first, I mean, you've got to work with them for weeks or months or maybe sometimes years mm-hmm. um, before white boys come out. But these are the people and have been built up for years and years mm-hmm. and years, and they don't understand that they are so much stronger, you know, than you would ever believe. You know, uh, if people that have a regular life don't build up a secret their entire life. They don't build up that much strength, that much voice, that much volume, that much love, that much character, and hold it in their whole lives for no reason. I mean, and when these people explode, it's a beautiful, amazing learning process. Us. It's it's a loving thing, and it's also an upset thing. Why do I not belong on the planet that I live on? You know why? Don't, why don't I belong here? Oh um, yes, and what planet do I come know? from? What planet do I come from? Now that's even out there, but it's yeah. it's it's like we're getting to talk about that now. For some people, for the very and when you tell that to a regular person, it's normal, you know, every day look at you like you're nuts, but that's okay because you drop that little that pedal, you know, that little pedal in the water. And... <laughs> Oop, we had a little. Yeah, thing. and I figure, I figure, <laughs> why, not, uh, why not make it ours? Then we are what we are. We're even going to use, right? Um, because something you know, and I think that influence should kind of spread. That we should feel like we're out. Mm-hmm. Um, we're trained to know, know who to love, who to respect, who is pretty, who is not pretty, who is fat, who is ugly, and we're all told, you know, that we're supposed to do these things. And I, I find it incredibly ridiculous. You know, I would. Uh, Without shape, size, monetary situations, it goes without. without you. That you can be that infectious, right? And, and um, sometimes it has to, nothing no. to do with a body, right? <laughs> no, God, no, God, no. I, I you know. You're gonna laugh, Eric. I just put up your Facebook on on chat, and it's the wrong Eric Mitchell. That's hilarious. No, leave it up for a little bit. You won't wake him up. (laughs) 
Yeah, that's you funny. The morning, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, it's not you <laughs> at all. Oh, it, yeah. Well, Eric, you have really. And uh, it, it's actually those uh, blue lines above my head. On face. Actually, it came from a uh, sounds were actually coming from my head. Oh, and uh, uh, on purpose and on purpose, it was, it was which is going to be studied more in the future. And uh, In a, a basal ganglia area of the brain. And what stuff? I mean, it's gonna the water out of a lot of things. And, uh, it's the only piece of paper I hold with this coronavirus uh, epidemic. <laughs> I can proudly say that I will speak of this science and. And uh, it is confirmed that experiencers do have anomalous brain mm. um, when it comes to psychic empathy, literally reaching outside of itself, uh, being on one um, They, guys, Stanford, Harvard, all these guys, they're, they don't want to lose their jobs. They don't want to lose their piece of paper. Please, guys, yeah. don't get mad. And, they're doing the work. Mm -hmm. They're risking their, their done, but it, it is, it's important work and the findings are miraculous. It really is. I, I, I see the paper on that. I, that'll be, I, I just know the basics of how it all works. We're just kind of exploring that, right? Do we know? Yeah, 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 Do we, we know are. it I mean, all, we're, or we're, we're just little. babies in this? Right? We're taking lots of baby steps in all of this, or is it one big leap for, yeah, for yeah. mankind? <laughs> yeah. Well, we are taking baby steps, and you know, it's it's going to be a long time before taboo becomes reality. Yeah. And um, you know, I mean, if we think about it, if we go a hundred years back, and then we go two hundred years back, um, according. They're always at the precipice of the top of this humanity. Burn those witches, behead that man now, but we used to, and we were at the top of our game back then. We mm -hmm. think we are at the top now. Uh, um, you have to understand that we're slow self, and we are never at the we want to distract ourselves by entertaining um, ideals that are no good for anyone, then we are literally a toxic thing without knowing it. <laughs> and, you know, yeah. um, so, but, you know, I think it's really important what we're finding now, um, you know, with the, uh, the anomalous brain activity that uh, in 19, I think 75, November, mm -hmm. December, January. I think it was January of 1975 when he went in um, to have his brain looked at. And when they looked at it, his activity in the right hemisphere of his brain was um, acting funny. And um, so that's what we're finding. Huh. And it looks like a spread out lightning. It's like it's not supposed to into the basal ganglia and the uh, cauda putamen, the uh, right hemisphere of the brain. Mm -hmm. And with them working together, which they're not supposed to, brains are compartmentalized. They are separate things, you know, mm -hmm. right arm, left arm, mm -hmm. uh, blink, you know, all these things are compartmentalized. But these two parts of the brain in the experiencer are like uh, uh, infused in a way that they are reaching out like an antenna um, outside the uh, the structure itself, and what they're trying to say is, or what they hesitate to say, but they have to, is quantum entanglement, uh, because that's the only way people really know um, non-locality. Uh, it 
it definitely could be something different. Um, yeah. But it's at least relative. Yeah, I just saw a YouTube with Bruce Lipton and his work on this. It's a on on pineal gland. You would like it. And he talked about the three different phases where the information comes in processed and then it, it then it gets put out so and it re talk, breaks yeah, that, it down that, that is that is that is the root of the antenna is mm -hmm. the uh, pineal area um, I mean that's where it's processed that's where the source is but where it's reaching out is um, something that's not about in the um, you know Vedic text or anything like that's the most fascinating part. You know, we know about the third eye, or mm -hmm. at least some of us do. Yeah. And uh, now, now we know how it's branching out. Now we know it's a, a lightning bolt through mm -hmm. these two areas. You know, the most sporadic part about that, that those areas are right before you go to bed or right when you wake up in the morning, where you have these true emotions, these true, true you know, feelings, these fruitions, these thoughts, mm -hmm. and. Um, then you shake it off and, and put on your shoes and you have to watch the uh, uh, morning news, which completely <laughs> reality. It, it, does that have um, to do with melatonin it, too? Is that with the melatonin, right? Is that part well, of it? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. this, this, yeah, the switch off of melatonin, serotonin, right. Right. Uh, the mixture, how it goes across. It, it is literally a chemical process at first. And, and you can look at these guys. They glasses up their nose and they go well exactly blah 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 <laughs> and you got to like, kick them in the shins um but leave their shins alone don't kick them in the shins don't make fun of the fact that you know they're don't resist in, them in certain ways. they're your friend yeah and they're always your friend everyone you meet is absolutely <laughs> for the first time ever don't ever forget that yeah. Yeah. Back with them later, they go, "Oh my gosh, oh my golly, we found something important." You know, so <laughs> you sit down, you uh -huh. rest your chin on your knuckles, and you go, "Okay, guys, what do you got?" <laughs> and then you give them something. Mm -hmm. You you just kind of you know foot at a time, one inch at a time, whatever it takes. It's exhausting. It's you, new you know, territory. I, it's new territory. Because we, we really don't I know. know. <laughs> I know, but it's frustrating to me. I'm like, come on, hurry up, guys. you got to figure this stuff out and tell people. And they're mm -hmm. like, nope, it's going to take 20 years. And I'm oh, like, no. God. No, well, we don't, don't have don't, to play by the rules, that. Eric. Okay? We don't, and we no, don't have I, to play by the rules. Though. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know how to play by the rules. My mom, my dad, nobody ever taught me that. <laughs> so um, um, I'm going to file for disability. <laughs> I, that way I can like you know drool on myself and walk around in public underwear you know I don't care don't bite on me but oh, it's, yeah it's my artist it's my art <laughs> yeah <laughs> well, let's break rules so rules can actually exist the real ones you know mm -hmm. and uh uh, we're we're so small and we're so petty and we're so we're such a child to this and you know people take offense to that they really do but you know what if you've ever ever truly loved someone um, as an opposite sex or your parent or your mom and you actually <laughs> yeah y'all my gosh absolutely those are the best people I've ever met <laughs> but if you if you ever get fully into it, you'll take two steps back. And, oh my God, I am helpless. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you about those rules. Those rules are in. To be known constantly and non distracted from. The thing is, consciousness and love and reality that has. That's consistent. Everything else is a distraction. Yes. That's consistent. You know, we all owe our 
existence is sound itself. And I think in the future, everybody is going to understand that. But it's all an on and off system of ups and downs. We can only feel absolute and complete love when we've been drawn away from that for a few seconds. And we go back. And, and uh, then we appreciate it more. But I, 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 I get away from me and I'm a, I'm a wreck. I love everything. See, <laughs> and, 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 tooth. Have a sweet tooth. tooth. That would be a sweet tooth thing for me. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So I mean. So we still have our human parts, it, even that we have this amazing things together, and we're more of a futuristic being with our, but we're on the front lines. You know, we still are humans yeah. having this. It, it, this The, the entire cosmos it acts upon uh, this whole entire system. I react to all I do. I don't I have to have sweets. I, I love. Don't on steel, and um, you don't have white. Without yin, you don't have yang. Mm -hmm. um, so evil, uh, you know, poison. See, you know, every and uh, it creates its own value. Um, you know, so a lot of people are like, oh, "I'm going through a terrible time right now." It has its equal value. And then you can mm -hmm. learn and sit and smile and, and look at the flowers for a little while and, and really um, appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. There are lessons come from. Yes. Um, I need to learn better. I need to learn to appreciate better. I need to learn to uh, do all these. And if you learn to look at it that way, uh, when you're through bad times, bad things are there to show you that good things do exist mm -hmm. it's it's the opposite is the polar you know matter to black matter uh everything in the cosmos so most people forget that when you look at Mars, you are it mm -hmm. you know you are the aperture in which existence looks out and um you know there's so many different religions and i don't want to insult people but this entire thing um, separate and the big illusion and the big control separate. You're not supposed to be here. You're you're, separate, you're too ugly. Your your eyes are the right color. Your hair's not the right uh, fashion. Therefore, you you don't fit. But you are exactly a wave. What the ocean is doing um, now two words for it the entire ocean and a wave but it is one thing mm -hmm. you're, you're way too fat your wave is too curvy have you ever even seen an imperfect cloud in your life <laughs> like have you ever looked up at a cloud and said that's perfect? no <laughs> you try to make sense of things and say hey, that looks like a dog it looks like a pig there is no such thing as an imperfect cloud mm -hmm. therefore there's no such thing as an imperfect human you are that and you're or part of the vibration of the entire and you and, are that and in each unique vibration of that. that's the part that's exciting i think it really is <laughs> it kind of city when you when you come to that it, yeah. oh my gosh barbara when yeah. you come to that you laugh at yourself you silly. do you do. You just do. You laugh yourself. So. <laughs> it's true. It's like not only am I important, not only am I an important part, but I actually get to do stuff creatively in my own, own mm -hmm. make it better. Right. I have a choice. Instead of I have a choice. Yeah. Hey, work. So we have like two minutes. We, so I want to. Am I still there? Yeah.
very good for me. Um, we've spent some time talking, and I just um, just love you. Love you. Thought well, we go with this, but I thought we both think, uh, as an experience or a point of view, um, is this a reality that we're um, making up, or, or it's you know with our eyes closed and to, to all of this? Is it is it an illusion, or is it all, illusion, all of it a dream? Something kind of like that. I thought we. That sound to you? Crap, that's really tough. <laughs> <laughs> well, you need a challenge, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I always do on a daily basis. Um, yeah, but yeah, I mean, we, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, let's go. Uh, we're gonna go on a break, Revolution Radio, and we'll be back. At you want to go grab a cigarette break, everyone else? Um, but we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere for part two with, with uh, Eric Mitchell. Well, you can are bailing them out when they gamble and lose for health care and education. Your media would appear to secretly be controlled by one person and his family. You could the elections. You could lie about why you go to prisons with one particular Complain. You could use the media to scare the people putting policies that are against Monday through Friday, 4 p.m. Eastern Time. For with Deacon John, where America comes to hear. This is hard for you Americans to try. Ohio Wexel politics will be. Son, and we'll discuss many important topics, including the state of the world. However, much of the show will be dedicated to the writings of Edward Albert Meyer. To a passage from one of his writings. Everything exists in absolute logic. All of nature in this indescribable world is nothing but the love of creation, which is expressed visibly. Love of creation is everywhere, because without it, nothing at all would Please join Mark on all highlights of politics from 4 to 6 p.m. <laughs> Half truths, and because of this, information are often compromised. Join Dr. Ott every Friday on Studio B at 10 p.m. Eastern and learn a body award in its second year of producing unparalleled excellence in 1997.
Chase, let us take you to the place. Divide and every Monday evening, right here on time, and you will catch the Fed perspective. Come listen in as she shares her amazing story. Guest secrets to the future. Evening right here from 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern Time only on Revolution. Oh, and you don't need to expect us. We're all ready. its programs and its website by the host phone listeners or chatters are a source who express them they do not necessarily represent of revolution radio and freedomslips.com it's you're listening to revolution radio freedomslips.com 100% listener supported radio and your host back to the Cosmic Oracle Show, and a surprise guest and my good friend, we're becoming good friends, Eric Mitchell, and uh, I met Eric Mitchell at the UFO Con 2020, Lorian Fenton's conference, we had a, 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 just a, a brief, I think we actually met there, I, think I saw you in the, uh, in the hallway, but we got to talking and, and, uh, we have a lot of, we have this weird sense of humor that I don't know if very many people get it, Eric, but <laughs> but um, hopefully <laughs> <laughs> but we get it, right? <laughs> we get it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so I want to thank yeah, everyone. Thing, you know, go ahead. You know, you just point at each other and go, I don't know why, but you. <laughs> right, right, exactly or something you know where we because that happens you know i have no memory of it but there is something there for a connection for sure <laughs> yeah slightly <laughs> yeah yeah your, your question i mean mm -hmm. i was thinking during the break and i became a uh, i was just going you know either um trying to think of how to answer that mm -hmm. um because you, i mean that is the the uh question and, and you know it's what these guys in the pentagon the, the fifth, uh, they've been working on this for years and of course we talk about how their uh, perception is skewed mm -hmm. it's always going, um it's about war, war it's a protection it's about you know Making sure our private parts are bigger than our, you know, overcompensation. Mm -hmm. I don't think we can all reference for a lot of things when it mm -hmm. came to the male ego. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's ancient aliens where entire, um, you know, uh, groups of people are being uh, influenced. Or that control process. I uh, have you ever seen that movie uh, Truman Show? Oh yeah, a long time ago. He has no idea. His wife stage. His, his friends. You know, you know, I often reference that. You know, I think about that. And, and please, oh my God, please, people, I, I am so skeptical of every. <laughs> um, I'm a show me person. I need the evidence. I need to put my hand uh, a scientist, uh, CIA, people 
explicitly because um, I, I don't agree with the thing. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, you know, uh, this thing is drawing me in. When you look at it, and I have to move English, mm. and, and, and uh, Travis Walton are going to be uh, roommates. I'll come lives, visit. I'll yeah, come visit. I mean, look, he lives in Snowflake, Arizona. I live in the Hot Springs, Arizona. <laughs> and for some reason, if you, I mean, if you really think about it, and I go to Maine to take my child off to come. He falls in love with a woman, and this woman with the, uh, you know, her, her, and we all become roommates. Um, just so, it's a coincidence. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly what a, a, a average person would think. That's a huge coincidence. Well, after that, things, you know, come into to where. You end up, you end up um, wanting to move, and absolutely every resource you could possibly to go to a particular place. Yep. I'm, and the funny thing is, and you're dreaming about a place that you've never been before. Or, you know, me, me, I fight these. No, you know, you, you see it, uh, it's obvious, it's in your face, and, and at the time I still go, no, no, it's coincidence. And then you look into quantum physics, you know, with the dust experiment, you look at all these things, and you like, look, I, I would have an insurance back home where I can interact and, and talk to people I grew, grew up with, and, and and all my friends, but I'm, and I have a jacket. It's cold now where mm -hmm. I live. I have a jacket, and I also have a hypothesis. One in five states it could be in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, you know, I really like that jacket. Mm -hmm. I got it in, in actually uh, uh, New York. Uh, but that's how. Much of, but when the intuition tells me, yeah, and it's not one of those things where, like, I'm gonna spirit, not how it happens, right? I stay, I want to keep, want to spread my root. Um, sometimes I wake up, I look, and I forget where I am, where you are. That's not no, I'm no. 41, man. I'm I'm not that old yet. Right. You know, um, but it, it it literally is a guiding. Series. Um, and I'll I'll I'll, I'll digress I'll go back to the Lord's Prayer, where He tells you, you to you know not trying to preach your religion is more important than the other, um, but um, to reach the things that we're able to change. And if we can't, we are. Let me tell you, as experiencers, this 100% beyond. As an average person, I have no idea. I haven't studied this. this like us, we are 10% co pilots on this. Um, if you. Your plans. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is it? I call it an like more of an intuitive lifestyle. Right? You're on the yeah, pulse. Sure. You're you're in the groove. You're, you're you can feel it, and it's not. not it's not about. <laughs> That's good, when you find out how much control you don't, right? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> exactly. It's a, you know, like you walk into McDonald's, order pickles, and you know you're going to get pickles on that thing. You're going to complain about it. You'll pick the pickles off. off later. You can take that construct of an idea. You know, um, so you already know you, you do not know what happens. Nobody knows why you're making decision, but they're the right ones. And then but, they look at you and go, you yeah, know? <laughs> yeah. Or, or, and they can have, I know now family, it's been 30 years for me of this life, right? And so, like, I had not been out of the United States before I had contact. And then after contact, I've traveled the world. And it's, and it's not that that's that my plan, it's just that's what happens. So, and you just kind of learn how to, how to go with it, how to, you know, intuition that has been taken away from us. Yeah, and that's what I tell people, you know, you're, you're, ability are different from others that ostracize you and feel different and make you feel small and make you feel are actually really important if you put them in the right places. Mm -hmm. uh, look at seeds. Um, plant talk to us. Um, mm -hmm. uh, well, that's kind of crazy, but plants can to a seed uh, flies off a tree uh insignificant play can grow and then it rains and then it, um so um that, that's that's me that's existence mm -hmm. um not a place of growth where I'm really confined I said um it's almost impossible look at an entire forest and you go, wow, these are so many circumstances. The most important thing to understand is they have roots and, and we can beneath the soil and not everybody needs um, that is beneficial for us. suffering from inside mm -hmm. I, and I I think like I had to learn how or I could get others yeah. to respect me that to me at mm -hmm. all okay they just yeah. <laughs> you, you probably had so many shitty yeah. oh I felt it's... sorry for one of them what? You... Oh, let me <laughs> knock on the door out there, you know. Here, narcissistic people are waiting like yes, a moth to a flame yes, yes. to be in a relationship with you. Yeah. Um, what, 16, 18, 27, 27 now? Right, and then to Roughly. learn and learn the discernment from that. That takes a lifetime, I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We just figured out, but uh, eight years of the, the show. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Relationship. You don't have to. Yeah. You don't, you don't have to. Uh, you know, yeah, but yeah. yes, I mean, it, you know what that that's a really important thing to touch as when you are an empath and you you are love, you are caring and you, you're likely to put up your walls or more like like narcissistic people because um, there is there's a thing you down or pull you down. And people pull that you when it comes to moral uh, love and and so 
Um, um, mm -hmm. They cling. Yep. Or yep. drag them down, and you know it goes with the old people beneath and, and uh, release of you they want to own that they want to them terrible I mean they're on to deal with this but mm -hmm. there are actually are men and that guys like me needs to be you know very terrible it's very terrible um, because we become victims to everything right. is sucked out of us. Run, we hide. I've been <laughs> but you learn so Eric. Now you can see a coyote from a thousand miles away. You can look yeah, up in no a room. Idea. You can just boom, 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 you know, so. That up and harped on it for a long period of time, Barbara, but. It's a good for... one, though. Well, there's a lot of people out there that are listening that are sensitives, you know, and no one has said that before. I wish someone would have well, told me a long time ago, you know, that I'm. Oh, my God. Yeah. 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 It, you know, and you know what? And when you're in that time. Relationship, hey, it's my, my fault. I have right. to check myself. I have to do something right about myself. And it's uh, who you are. How many years does that take to take heal from? Long, I mean, it's a long time. Mm -hmm. And that, that whole time that you have, you really want to help other people too. Excuse me, ladies, it does. but it does. I'll send you some blood mm -hmm. from me, you know. <laughs> yeah. This is okay. Hey, a little trouble but hearing it, us. It's all. Well, it's all lessons, though. It's all in lessons. It you know, is, some but people. Can't we just. Can we Any just, restraint. Yeah. And some of us have a whole bunch of stuff, you know, through, and it, it never stops. And it's and fair. So, it's not fair sometimes, though. I want a vacation time. Ah, <laughs> yeah, it's fun, I'm putting my uh, order in now. now. <laughs> I'm putting my order in now. Next lifetime's vacation lifetime. Barbara, I, I really want to stay friend. You're on that path. <laughs> 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 it's it's a mother. Um, oh, I can't remember the word, but yeah, yeah, that's that's great. Well, it keeps me going great. sometimes, you know, because it can be tough, and so like you're saying, you, it can get. So, you know, and even once you're in it, but then once you come out of it, your strength is amazing. Um, part of that is the reason why I went through so many um, dark spirals is to what it is to be a human now and what they have to go through, you know, and so that you can have but don't notice but don't you notice that there's something that does it I mean, you don't know what it is you can't but you know you could look at the outside world and it doesn't happen to them right yes. okay so so maybe with that will bring us back around to are we creating our own reality No, um, um, that notices that stuff about 
me. She was actually a witness to everything that happened to me uh, uh, back then. And she notices it. So that feel a lot better, you know, because mm -hmm. and, and you were being taught by something that I could never understand, mm -hmm. you know, and she's a full Bible thumb. I'm watching something, and I'm like, I appreciate you for saying that. Have that stricken from the record. Talking <laughs> about again, but yeah, you're saved. You were chosen. You were. You are. That you can't be the beautiful thing that you are. You can't be this amazing thing. What close may be totally dark with rotten fruit and, and just people mm -hmm. that absolutely. I mean, you have, you have to consume yourself. Other people with rotten fruit on their face. Mm -hmm. That's what changes the world. Look at Alice. God's sakes, the guy on stage. Does anybody listen? Just me and you. You know, we'll, we'll talk first. That's what we're doing the here. Guy, the guy walked on stage, look, stage, and put a piece of plastic face and said, to talk to people in China. I, come on. That's going to be a, a tough job, you know. People are guy needs to be shot or hung. So the invention, you know, that's what we're using right now. But to stand in front of and say this reality, is, it's real. It takes a lot. Uh, uh, you know, just like Alexander Bell and a couple in the past that. Say this is reality. This, this this can happen. You and I are not talking about any, uh, electricity or uh, anything. No, no. We're talking about the possibility of human about the possibility the possibility of love. We're talking that we were born with and we were robbed of, and that we need to. Come yeah, we're taking the planet that. back too at this time. Okay. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> My bag of tricks. <laughs> <laughs> if you're in, you're in. So, um, but, I mean, the mother that loves the child should be the mother of everyone. Everyone he meets. We've been distracted. Forget about your distractions. Mm -hmm. Manage your distractions. You know, I always say, and I quoted, people quote me, you know, what's wrong with them, but, um, you, know, you know, addiction to irrelevance is the willingness of a slave. Mm. Um, it came to me in a meditation that I really enjoyed. Uh, it taught me not, so I want other people to know and if we did to run things then love is love. but irrelevance is so oh who benefits from that nobody nobody yeah. what money you know people people think I have money you know or I'm like wow I'll you for a while <laughs> that's gonna <laughs> suck in. and the end of that story Terrible. Is <laughs> you know, every animal on the planet understands love, compassion, um, and the absolute um, dolphins. <laughs> mm -hmm. We'll leave that. They are. Um, hey, on the we're on supposed the, to be just on the crystal of uh, the Mitchell head, just crystal skull. They don't know how old it is, right? They've done all the testing, blah, 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 blah. On it, where they found it, 
the crystal skull itself on each side next to each side of its nose is a dolphin engraved in it. And that's yeah, not a coincidence. Is that. that amazing? And I have an amazing, you know, study. You know, um, I, I can't wait to find out what they're going to do. I have a mutation in my MLX4. Uh, the MLX4 is the, um, like, I don't know, uh, the construct. It, there's no, no mutants in there. The MLX2 has every mutation in there. And uh, when I was born in 1978, yes, sweetheart, pup. <laughs> uh, uh, they say I'm the only person with a mutation in the leg or ALX4, hmm. uh, which caused uh, some. Uh, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to find an answer. You know, with that. Yeah, that would be good. I and and. I just have for some of the people they haven't heard your story, so you. How often do you contact since the original contact? We'll talk well, contact. Well, when I'm when I'm moving, is that not, you know almost as if we know you moved and blah. Um, also, and, um, I'm really upset. Blah blah blah. Um, and that kind of up. Um, you know, they're, they know. I mean, you know, people talk about implants, stuff like that. GPS, no. Um, they know intuitive. Really, in, in a bad way. You know, kind of thing happens. That to uh, it would take a while because there is such a connection. A um, you know, so ganglia, and that kind of, uh, because that is a connection to them and, and uh, what is going on. He's on home uh, that, that was a long time ago. It was put in because it was research. And a lot of things, mm -hmm. and um, they relish things. They're not, they're not mm -hmm. so they try to take their quote, quote unquote, bigger, so Mace would hear them, and then you have uh, ufology bickering back and forth, and everything gets ruined. Ufology is the first thing in the truth when it comes to stuff. You know, um, look. The Pentagon knows about me. The CIA knows about me. Mm -hmm. I have their name. Um, you know, I know who they are. Their names from the Pentagon. I gave it to ufology. Ufology is not a... Warm no, it's back. tough. It's heartless. It can be very, very heartless. It's, it's the business. See, I don't it's take... A, I just don't fit in with that. I just never have. I'm there for the people oh. to tell the story, oh. to, to, you know, that's what it's all about. But look, you you have a, you have a sighting at three feet away because you don't believe in that kind of stuff, right. and they jump all over you. Like, mm. and, and so these are being destroyed one by one, and yet. Yes, going through the process of deciding they're going through ending uh, so many different things. Mm -hmm. so, so when are they you are saying that they need to be broke more down like that? Are you saying they need to be more? Oh my god, definitely. Yeah. These people need to be emotional. They're so vulnerable. This happens to you. So vulnerable. you are. You oh just. Oh God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And the thing is, you are that, vulnerable, but you have this burning feeling to reach out. This is a part of the dissidents that a lot of people don't understand unless you actually deal with it. They want to reach out, and they're vulnerable. 
a lot of people think that I get phone calls like, yeah, that's not how it works. <laughs> I get idea. They have, oh, I thought maybe I knew you and, you know, you know talk to me for a couple of weeks and then, you know, going, you know, they just play forth because they're so scared of stuff. And it, it takes several weeks just to have a conversation that they, they have. It's not mm-hmm. like getting moved. And when they're actually able true feelings, those truth that I've heard about tonight, it really breaks down. I, I don't have to know about this. I could later. I'm a doctor. I'm a judge. You just really had a psychiatrist call me. Mm-hmm. And I, you know what? I need them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. It's supposed to be the crazy person. You have um, the experiences, I've, so that puts you. It's not just something. Yeah. No, it puts you in a story. It just in a different. It's just a whole different genre, shall we say? I don't know how you would put it. Let's see, what yeah. word for it? Well, it's. <laughs> it, it, I you know I. I had it loaded. I was mm. going to pull the trigger into my investigation because my case has been going on for seven years now. Mm-hmm. Um, there's something that's been, I mean, everything's, and uh, I don't know. I mean, people that worship um, the uh, entertainment part of reality may not like it. They, they can say it's conclusive or anything like that, but this is a science study. Yeah. I might throw some people on anything. You know, it's all, you know, it's entertaining. Uh, um, scientific may not be very entertaining, but it should be. Interesting. Well, the truth um, is the, the truth. That's all we want is the truth. Yeah, well, that's all I want to do. I mean, <laughs> I turned down a, a lot of money from uh, uh, Netflix. I wanted to do a major picture and all, all and hey, it wasn't going to be for you. It was mm-hmm. going to be for entertainment. It, it was the mind about what it's a, would I love to take millions of dollars and run away from all this? Yes. Oh, my, let me shake you. More. <laughs> yes. You know, I just get away from this. You, mm-hmm. you know, no. people have no idea. How much I, I've suffered in the past. I, I, I gotcha. have lost, lost everything plus things I had. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm with you. See, with mine was an inner dimension. That's how I was contacted through an, a near death experience. So there were no witnesses. And so I just had to be standing yeah. by truth the whole time because there were witnesses. But the truth is still the truth. And, you know, you just. Yeah. You go through all the, all of it, just all of it. <laughs> and, and so, well, you see, that's the, thing, that's the thing, Barbara. I mean, we barely know each other. Right. I, yeah. At all. You know, so many regional points. Mm-hmm. No disagreement whatsoever. Just agree without elaborating for other to listen to. <laughs> Um, okay. Yeah, <laughs> that's okay. And you know, if any if any psychiatrist to grab his chin and went to the show, they would. What in the hell? <laughs> well, I would. Have, it has to be a new psychology born. That's all. They haven't caught up. Well, that Mac uh, really went out. I mean, he was the mm-hmm. know what the head uh, uh, head guy at. Uh, um, Harvard University, mm-hmm. um, in psych- that. that went psychological there. There's a commonality here. Something needs to happen. And then what happened? Ran over by a car, right? I, I don't remember. I really don't. Yeah. Uh, I think you got hit by a car, hit and run. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, I mean, people can sit at home and, and maybe guess about it or 
excited, but I, you know, I live it. I, I live phone calls from people. Yeah. I think now in 170 countries, wow. many different languages. Um, you know, I a call from a guy in Uga that's never seen a, UT, a TV before, mm-hmm. not been illustrated by television or fake news or anything like telling me the same exact story from so many people. Um, you know, um, government, uh, people, government people, uh, that I've spoken to, uh, Edgar Mitchell, I've, um, uh, Canada's minister, I mean, it just it keeps going on, but, you know, after how you, you deal with this stuff and you think it's not about jumping out there and get popularity with the people. It's about getting people bored with what we're doing. Mm-hmm. And uh, leave the narcissism alone. You know, I mean, <laughs> so many people get up on stage and, and they're popular. They want their books. So, yeah, I'm going to write a book too. You wrote a book. The I information did. has to be out yeah, It literally has to be out there. But that's, that's narcissism on my part. Yours, I mean, you and I. We, you know, David oh, Wilcox gosh. type of word, yes. <laughs> making no. millions of dollars. Yeah, we're not going to do that. I'm just going to do it that way. No, we're doing it now. We're going to start doing it. I got bills to pay. Barbara, I'm purple space chicken. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll raise you that, and I'm going to be a, a galactic queen from the third dimension of it's a we can't even pronounce on earth that. That's, that's, that's actually kind of what I thought. <laughs> I, <laughs> the truth comes out. Yeah. 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 But when it comes to the truth, entertainment's fun. I mean, it's all so You know, I raised, I don't know if you know this, I read uh, uh, four three of which were not mine. I adopted three. Two sons. And this in cartoon Prince Eric would say and he was a and everything was from happily ever after. And then he would grow up to the seventh, eighth, ninth, with you know, they would have their friend and realize that there was a, um, you know, in, in cost, there was a separation yeah. of this um, association you know, for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was looking for. It is a disassociation. That upsetness, that letdown, that cognitive dis- the whole thing about, about, about the imagination world from Disney uh, told them about real life wasn't actually and mm-hmm. it's much harder than love and it kind of destroys all these things and I think actually it's kind of a poison really mm-hmm. and you know what Barbara I don't think that's very much different than us being dealing with what we're all the time in society all mm-hmm. you know we have Project Mockingbird owns the media. We have so many things that tells us that blah, 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 blah. What are we supposed to pay attention to? Are we supposed to be watching Honey Boo? Or are we supposed to be watching uh, this and that? Or are we supposed to shut up, slow down our hearts? Know that my father, know that my mother, and know that I am not skewed from being I'm supposed to be. <laughs> Lift it. I have to do something for us. Do things with humor. Um, change things. Don't, don't status quo. Be, be what he likes. Because, because you know what? It's too god informed and uh, I think sporadic. I think 
people are too fearful of of oh, fear is a good word. Fear is a good word. Fear and control. Yeah. Yeah, fear and control. Mm -hmm. You know what's wrong with dangers and cracking? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with stepping outside what a norm is called. Mm -hmm. You're not a norm. I'm not a norm. Mm -hmm. Call each other <laughs> mfers. I yes. appreciate that because we both are. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope that God. Yes. Not, not, well, hold on. Let me back up a second. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and the perfect sense. Yes. But, yeah. but I do. I do. I absolutely do. I walk out of my home every single day and I cause discourse in the Norm. Well, and that's and just yeah, by you is... being you. And I was one day I would be okay with that. And because I had to go through the pleaser part, I was a pleaser, you know. And so now it's, yeah. I can step yeah. in a room and if that upsets everybody just by me being there, I can deal with that easily now where it took me time to, to stand in my power of who I am. And and love everyone around me at the same time, so it's it's kind of it took a long time for me to be able to do that to not want to change them, not want to judge them, be neutral to them, all of that. And it's kind of yep. cool you can just walk into yeah. that no matter where it is, and and invariably I know with you it happens with me. They'll come up to you and they'll say. What do you do? There's something about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially <laughs> like it's with like um, Alzheimer's or uh, you know something like that. Mm -hmm. They will find, you. Mm -hmm. and even if they're nonverbal, they will find you in the room and they'll start talking to you. Yep. And their parents will go, "Oh my God, what is this?" Mm -hmm. You know, they notice that kind of magic. It's not magic; it's reality. It's energy. Don't. Yeah, show, show, mm -hmm. show with difference. Show up um, with confidence, but mm -hmm. also, if you don't show up with love, open heart. Then don't. Yeah, don't show at all. Mm -hmm. Stay home. Quarantine your ass. You are <laughs> sick. Yeah, put a mask on. Face. You don't need other people. If you you don't have humor, if you don't have love, if mm -hmm. you don't have this magical child still left in your heart, stay home. Put a mask on your face and don't infect anybody else in the world. Mm -hmm. And guess what? If you're worried about virus, play with dirt. We have an immune system. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like where um, I'm seeing it like it, with the First Nations where they'll do a tobacco circle. And then they'll make a tobacco circle ceremony. So when you go inside that tobacco circle, you have to stay with yourself and stay with yourself and stay with yourself. You become okay with yourself and kind of fall in love with yourself again. That, you know, with all, yeah. stuff, with all your stuff, though, you know, not in an ego way, but in a, a way that is a connected way. Well, I mean, a lot of people, they look at themselves, um, but I think true love, Barbara, mm -hmm. I mean, maybe I'm wrong mm -hmm. or maybe I'm right just for being me, mm -hmm. but to truly love yourself yeah. is to love every stranger yes. and every misunderstanding and every fault, every <coughs> stupidity, all that stuff. So why? That's me. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's okay. Mm -hmm. I have made every mistake that <laughs> I can make fun of. Oh, you're going to make some people. more, too. <laughs> They'll be good ones. <laughs> yeah. And I'm glad they we fix <laughs> If we can extend the show, I'd love to share. Uh, but unfortunately, some people are like, I make mistakes. I'm in, you know, imperfect beyond belief. But. Mm -hmm. Um, but what I would love to share is what I learned from it. You know, I, mm -hmm. 
But awareness is your choice then. Yeah, but you don't mess up in love. Mm -hmm. you, you don't mess up in love at all, mm -hmm. you know, because understanding is, is you and understanding is her or him. Mm -hmm. And um, love doesn't see it. It sees an opportunity to grow. Mm -hmm. It sees an opportunity to have memory. It, it sees an opportunity to have laughter later on. Mm -hmm. Remember that time? Remember this time? And these are the values that are really leaving us. Mm -hmm. And, um, and there's more. And there's more. That me. The, and, when it, and there's more. Oh, my God. And there's more. And your mind gets blown. And then your whole, you know, your whole everything blown. Because we're just a speck of all of that. It's pretty cool. Yeah. 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 Uh, amazing ring of echo of a vibration throughout life. I think uh, the Dao talked about that at first, you know, that, um, um, I, what are they called? Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I, that's it. I, I had to love that word. I want, <laughs> I want to call everything a da da da. Oh, that's a great word. I'm going to use that. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, cashiers look at you funny when you announce it, um, mm -hmm. you know, prominently at Walmart while holding your chest with one hand. But <laughs> it's judge. But da 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 is 10,000 things, one suchness. And you are that thing. Yeah. And uh, so it, it really propagates a lot of thought in your mind. And hopefully, um, if you're able to a lot of feeling in your heart that you are that suchness, you are those 10,000 things, mm -hmm. you belong everywhere that you go. Mm -hmm. um, you know, these beautiful women on magazines tell you you don't belong, but you absolutely belong. Mm -hmm. Every absolutely belongs. Every tree in this world absolutely belongs. Everything in existence. And absolutely belongs. Uh, it also in Chinese Taoism, um, you know, we we have this thing called Jichong, um, which is is that which is of self. And if you look into that philosophy and you look into that understanding, you'll mm -hmm. see that um, we are that. that you know, um, you can't tell a flower. Uh, to be a tree. You can't tell a tree to be a flower. You can't tell anything to, you can't do it. Hey, Rose. No, it's not going to happen. It's proud of itself. It is going to be itself. Yeah, and it's not you know going to blend, right? We're not meant to blend. <laughs> it's not going to change, but mm -hmm. we as human beings, Barbara, we are absolutely to be something. And we're trying to be that something, and it's not possible. Yeah. It's not probable. It's not meaningful. Yeah. It's not wonderful. And and that's you that part should. where you like you must you must be a mistake. There is something wrong. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that's such a lie, that's, right? No cloud. No wave is a mistake. Mm -hmm. No word is a mistake. No mistake is a mistake. Mm -hmm. it, it is that which is of itself. It is da, da, da. <laughs> and e even though it seems like a, you know, mistake at the time, or even though it happened to be a situation at the time, you grow from it. Yeah. Um, and that's why it, it, it's a bad thing. No, mm -hmm. because hindsight said it was an absolutely beautiful thing. I didn't want to change into that, turn into that. I like my old life. I like my old stuff. But now, in hindsight, I go, hey, I'm better off. Right. So well, and birthing is messy. It's not easy. Birthing, birth yeah. yourself, you know, to destroy and then create and then destroy and create. And that's, you know, and yeah. it's beautiful. Yeah. And it's but messy. It's also, and it can be loud. And it can be dirty and it, all kinds of things. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's also fear disguised as practicality while dancing in its own realm. Oh, really? Perfect. Wow. That's I'm perfect. So I'm so afraid of change. And then I'm happy you changed. You know, <laughs> I got through it. It didn't kill me, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's, you know, that's a, uh, uh, not just you, but more you. And a more wonderful you, and not just that you create around you. Mm -hmm. You affect people around you, mm -hmm. you know, and it's not just work. It's not just touching a hand or hugging someone. It's the energy that you are. And you, right. Once you understand that you, you can't be held down. And, and it's not You're finite. Not. It's not like life. And who thought of that? It's just not that way at all. Just throw out that paradigm. Just throw it out. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. You know, people just get caught up in such uh, disarray. And, you know, I do too. You do too. Yeah, but I mean, the thing I mean, is, excitement, you know, meeting <laughs> Eric. Uh, Pepper is awesome, you know, <laughs> but, um, but that's the thing, you know, amazement oppose a, a vacuum. And that's mm -hmm. what space does. That's what the universe does. Mm -hmm. You know, nature opposes a vacuum. Um, there, uh, anytime we sit and question, uh, I'm not good enough. I'm not, oh, I'm God, not this, yeah. I'm not that. It's or I need to take one more talk. class and then I can talk. <laughs> then I can have an opinion. That's the one. I just need to <laughs> learn more and then I can have an opinion. Instead yeah. of yeah. and you can have it and it's okay. It's encouraged. The, loud, <laughs> the loudest thing I've ever said to someone was in complete silence. Mm -hmm. You know, I would touch their cheek. I would kiss their lips. I would look them dead in the eyes. That's no good. need for need for speech, and that that's the strongest communication. That is the strongest. I mean, when you can really just do that, mm -hmm. you can do it to a plant. You can do it to an animal. You can do it under your feet or you can do it in meditation. You can be that because that I is love you. That. And that's our future, isn't that our future as humanity, where we're going? We're, at least we're being taught that by most of the communication with the extraterrestrial or whatever name you want to give them. Do speak to you through exactly what you're talking about through um, a communication without words. Yeah, yeah, I think words get in the way. Mm -hmm. 26 letters, a billion neurons. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, we solved that problem yeah. tonight, Eric. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the math is wrong. Yeah, it's it's you know, yeah. It. It's like I, I've got a 500 IQ, but I'm going to talk to you now, and I'm like, uh, but, but there was actually, you know, um, you, you know, there's a lot of evidence. You know, we've went to. Uh, 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 Nashville recording, you, you know, studio. We did mm -hmm. uh, things with uh, equipment and stuff with my brain and everything like that. And, you know, people, well, people are going to be people. And mm -hmm. a lot of times you're going to see a lot of jerks. Um, I want them to be face to face with me so I can show them personally. Maybe they won't, you know, be jerks later. You know, yeah, proof is in learn. the pudding, it's yeah. not on your spoon. You know, proof is in it's not on your spoon. Uh, perceptionary beliefs are often derived from a place that may not be so honest. Uh, um, my suffering is, you know, real, Barbara. Yours mm -hmm. is yeah. free. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, in recording studios and stuff, and, and uh, uh, yeah, these guys have been freaked out. They're like, wow, that's, that's just amazing. And But vibration, frequency... And um, all these things, it didn't start until I started talking about it. It didn't start until I started going. Mm -hmm. and 
most people don't get the understanding of all those things. But well, let's do it, silence. Greg. Let's do yeah. it. I love that you're doing it. I love it. it's important work that you're doing for humanity. It really, truly is. And I want to thank you for that. Oh, I want to thank you for like a couple minutes left. Well, it scared the crap out of me when I was starting to talk about consciousness and vibration and yeah, frequency. Yeah. And then the entire world was talking about it. And I was going, oh, my God, I better shut yeah. up. Yeah. Well, I'm thinking the first time I heard the word consciousness, I just went, oh, my God. You know, <laughs> just then I wanted to learn everything I could about it, you know. And there there is still so much to yeah. learn about it. Yeah. And at the same time. If you shut up and leave it alone, it's there oh, too. Exactly. <laughs> well, thank you for everyone for tuning. We'll be back next week on the Cosmic Oracle Show. And we have Brian Bland, all things Sasquatch, next Friday. Love you guys. Take care. See you next week. Thanks again. Next week.